Okay, here is the picture for lung cancer. And so you get the can of cancer in the center. And these items right here in the center are symptoms and uh, uh, things that can happen or complications that can happen with all types of these cancers. So these apply to all of the, the different types. So you've got things like uh, cough and hemoptysis. Uh, it is a uh, um, obstruction, an obstructive disease. You get a bronchial disruption, and you also get coin lesions. Okay. Okay, now the complications that can happen, you've got pancoast here, so you get pancoast tumors. Uh, you can also get superior vena cava syndrome, and you can also get Horner syndrome. Horner syndrome is ptosis, meiosis, and anhydrosis. Uh, superior vena cava syndrome is an obstruction of the superior vena cava. It leads to facial swelling, vein dilation, cyanosis. Pancoast tumor is an apex of the lung that compresses on the cervical sympathetics, and it leads to Horner syndrome. But you can also have pleural effusions, uh, pa uh, paraneoplastic syndromes, which is the PTH, ADH, and ACTH. You can have hoarseness from the recurrent laryngeal nerve involvement. Those are all things that can happen with pancoast tumors, uh, superior vena cava, and Horner syndrome that uh, happens. So way up here in the corner, you've got uh, squamous cell. It's an epidermoid uh, cancer. Uh, right here you've got this increase in calcium and that's going way up. You've got the milk, calcium milk is going up. You've also got keratin pearls. So these are central located. They're centrally located, increased calcium and keratin pearls caused by smoking is the, is the number one cause. Uh, small cell carcinoma. See here we got a small cell, cell like a jail cell. <laughs> Uh, it's associated with smoking. Oops, we didn't have a smoker. Let's, let's put a cigarette over here. Does that look like a cigarette? No. But anyway, that's a cigarette. Uh, it's still associated with smoking. Uh, you get uh, ectopic antidiuretic hormones, ADH, um, adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH production, cause, and there's oat cells. So these are oat cells, ADH, ACTH. Decrease in sodium, that's the sodium Na being squashed. You've got basophilic cells that are clumped, so you've got clusters. Um, and this small cell does respond well to chemotherapy. That, that is something that uh, can be put in there. Peripheral uh, lung tumors are at the bottom here. You've got OA over here, adenocarcinoma. Okay, this is usually more prevalent in women um, and non-smokers. So this is, you know, you've got to think, when you think of adenocarcinoma, think of, uh, of uh, Dana Reeves, who died of lung cancer not too long ago. You get mucin. So those are things that uh, you're going to, mucin production, non-smokers, mainly women. Large cell carcinoma, you go over here, is undifferentiated clear cells. It's pretty rare, but it might show up on a test question. Um, you also have a type of adenocarcinoma, which is bronchoalveolar. This looks a lot like pneumonia on the x-ray. Uh, you get columnar cells that are surrounding the alveoli but not infiltrating them. So those are things you got to look at um, and you get all those other uh, complications or presentations.